Today we're going to work through um, a problem from the mock exam from last, uh, from fall 2011. And the question is uh, as follows. Your teaching assistant's hamster, Zippy, is running on a wheel that's 25 centimeters in diameter and weighs 300 grams. Zippy starts from rest and exerts 0.15 newtons of force on the wheel while running, assuming the force exerted is constant over time and that you can ignore friction how fast is the wheel rotating at the end of one revolution? So, now, what we're going to do here is use the work energy theorem. And the general plan is that we're going to use that to calculate, to go from, you know, the work that Zippy exerts is going to be on the wheel is going to be equal to the change in kinetic energy of the wheel. So let's go ahead and draw a picture. So first off, there's a wheel which has a radius of r and Zippy is exerting a force on this wheel. And so Zippy is, you know, running uh, in the left direction based on that picture that we just showed. And so the force that Zippy exerts, we're going to call it F sub Z, is in that direction. So now, what we're going to do is calculate, uh, I'm sorry, use, use the work energy theorem. And so what the work energy theorem is here is, since we're talking about torques, that means it's the angular version of this, the integral of torque over an angle, theta, is just equal to the change in kinetic energy. And the change in kinetic energy in this case is, since we're talking about rotational motion, it's one-half I omega final squared minus one-half I omega initial squared. And that's a final, by the way. And since omega initial, since it's, you're starting from rest, omega initial is just going to be zero. So the torque exerted over some angle is just going to be equal to one-half I omega final quantity squared. So now, let's calculate this. So torque, of course, is just R cross F. And in this case, we know that R is just the radius of the wheel, and F is just F zippy, and they're perpendicular to each other, so this is equal to R times F zippy, and that's a number that we already have. Um, the moment of inertia of the wheel, and the wheel is like a bicycle wheel, it has all of its mass on the outside, so it's just going to simply be mass of the wheel, r of the wheel squared, and this is uh, an r wheel up here, of course, too. And so the work is just going to be the integral of t d theta, and we can just say that t dot d theta, well, the torque is going to be in the same direction as the, as the change, so it's just going to be the, quant uh, the magnitude of the torque times delta theta. And so, extending this just a little bit further, we say that t delta theta is equal to one-half i omega squared. And so, just to refresh your memory, this is the work that's done, t delta theta, and this is the change in energy, and that, of course, is omega final squared, because the initial moment of inertia, uh, I'm sorry, the initial angular velocity is zero because you're starting from uh, keeping things still. And so now what we're going to do is plug in this quantity up here for the moment of inertia of the wheel. And so that's going to give us uh, T delta theta is one-half M R squared omega final squared, and that's R wheel quantity squared. And so now what I can do is solve this for omega final. And so I can rearrange this equation and say omega final is equal to T delta theta divided by one-half m r wheel 
quantity squared, and then all of this to the one-half power. And so uh, then I can plug in all of my numbers. And so I see that delta theta is one revolution, which means it's two pi radians. M of the wheel is 0.3 kilograms. The radius, um, I give you the diameter of the wheel, which is point, uh, 25 centimeters. So the radius is half that, so it's 0.125 meters, converting everything into the right units. And then the force is going to be uh, 0.15 newtons. So now, plugging this in, I'm going to get T, uh, I'm sorry, torque, is going to be R times F, which is 0.01875 newton meters. And now, coming back up here to our expression for omega final, now I have everything that I need. I have the torque right here, the change in angle, I have the mass of the wheel, and the radius of the wheel. And so what I can do is plug that all in and get that omega final is equal to 7.09 radians per second. And this is after the hamster wheel has gone around one revolution. And so um, that's all, and thank you very much.